Hello everyone, I am Yash from Ideabox Creations and today in this video we will see how you can use the breadcrumbs widget of Powerpack Elements add-on for Elementor. We will be adding our breadcrumbs to this test team page so let's go ahead and see how you can do that. Open the page where you want to add the breadcrumbs using the Elementor builder. So for this scenario it will be our team's page. Now look for the breadcrumbs widget. Make sure you see the double P icon at the top right corner of the widget. So that means Powerpack's breadcrumb widget and drag and drop it on the page. As soon as you drag and drop it on the page, you will see the breadcrumbs appearing right away. Now the first option that you will see in the content tab is select type. Here you can see the type of breadcrumbs that you want to show. You can select Powerpack, Yoast, Rank Math SEO, Breadcrumbs, NavXT and even SEO Press. If you do not want to show the home button, you can disable it from this toggle button. And if you want to change the text of the home button, you can do that too along with the home icon. Further, if you are using your breadcrumbs on your blog pages, you can change the blog text as well. If you wish to change the alignment, you can do that too. Now for the separator, you can choose what separator type you want. You can go with text or icon. I'm going with icon for this tutorial. You can choose the icon of your choice from the icons library or if you want to upload your own SVG, you can do that too. Now coming to the styling of the breadcrumbs, you can customize the items, separator and the current tab separately. Let's start with the items. You can change the spacing, color, background color, typography. You can add a border and can change the border radius and padding as well. Now for the separator, you can change the color, background color, typography, border, border radius and even the padding. And for the current breadcrumb, you can change the color, background color, typography, border type and the border radius. Now once you are done making your changes, you can go ahead and publish your page and see what your breadcrumbs look like in the final design. So for the changes that we made earlier, this is what our breadcrumb section looks like. Let me know what you think of the breadcrumbs widget for Elementor and if you guys found this video useful, do leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.